Welcome to the Cloud Foundry Bosch Bare Metal CPI demonstration utilizing Rack HD. We would like to show you a demonstration of Cloud Foundry deploying services directly to bare metal using an open source hardware MNO tool called Rack HD. Today, Cloud Foundry expects an IaaS infrastructure as a service platform to deploy services and applications utilizing a Bosch CPI cloud provider interface. The CPI interacts with the IaaS platform to orchestrate VMs, disk, and network provisioning to support deploying your applications. So as you can see, this is a VM-centric deployment model, where in some cases bare metal compute may be the best fit. Bosch leveraged Rack HD, an open source project designed for hardware management and orchestration to develop a bare metal CPI. RackHD abstracts away hardware-specific tasks and allows for programmatic control of hardware. Let's take a look at Bosch deploying a Redis cache to bare metal. I've brought up a command line. Let's take a look at a Bosch deployment manifest. You can see here we have a Redis release. What you may also notice is that this CPI was not altered to integrate with RackHD, but rather custom tasks within the RackHD workflow engine were developed, making for a seamless integration between the two. Now we are running the Redis deployment. First, we see Bosch uploading a stem cell to RackHD. A stem cell is a pre-built image specific to Bosch. After the stem cell uploads, we run a Bosch task called Create VM. Here, RackHD, utilizing its custom Bosch tasks, abstracts the Create VM command and provisions the stem cell image on bare metal hardware. This allows the application developer to interact with Cloud Foundry as they always have, with no understanding of the physical infrastructure underneath. You can see the Rack HD APIs have triggered a reboot of the physical compute node to provision the Redis cache server. This takes a minute, so we'll be right back. The provisioning is just about completed. The node will reboot, and the final configuration will take place. At this point, we see the Bosch director is trying to connect to the Bosch agent on the node. Once the connection is established, the Redis server should be configured and started. I'll bring up the server console and check the Redis server has started successfully. Then we will verify that the server is taking requests via the Redis CLI. We have a successful connection. If you would like to learn more about Rack HD, visit us on our GitHub page.